Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, good morning, YouTube, from the overseas territory of Gibraltar here on the Mediterranean. Beautiful uh, morning here over the Mediterranean. Sun is slowly coming up, and I couldn't resist this crazy video because uh, as much as I'm a long ways from the RV life here in Europe, um, it seems like, because my RV channel, I guess, historically has talked about the nomads, and even here, I can't escape the nomadic fanatic um, controversies and the things that are going on and uh, I don't I think this story is slowly breaking around the world here where there there's an email circulating about a conversation that nomadic fanatic Eric had regarding some youtubers that even I know personally some I've even met um, and they're very very disparaging and there's uh, troubling issues also um, he talks about Things like uh, he, he'd like to acquire a gun. He, he's a felon. Come on, it, it's, he's a felon. He changed his name a little bit. He he went to jail in Washington State. It's it's public knowledge, public records. And nomadic fanatic, if you're watching this, well, guess what? My income from Canada under the law is uh, judgment proof, so you can't threaten to sue me. Even if you get a judgment, it's not collectible. It's not garnishable because of the way I've structured my retirement. So uh, good luck with that. So don't do idle threats when people speak the truth. And you said a lot of horrible things about people like Lola. She, she died last year, for God's sakes. You know, and, you know, telling people that she should rot in hell and... You know, talking about blind views, for example. You know, of course, there, there's a little, um, you know, fun little tirade going between the two of them, which that's that's part of uh, the drama of YouTube. And and blind views knows where the line is in terms of um, what what can be said and what can't be. And it's it's fair comment, just like when I talk about Carolyn's RV life. It's all fair comment, and I know where the line is, and I don't cross it. But this is the big warning I want to throw out there for content creators, especially. It's so easy to fake digital content in terms of uh, emails or recordings or uh, conversations, uh, even video. And you got to be careful that things that circulate are not true. And I'm, I'm trying to be fair even to Nomadic Fanatic here. So I'm, I'm pretty fair and balanced. Because even, even Nomadic Fanatic, if something is said about him that is untrue, and it is uh, defamatory and actionable, well, that, that's, that's a serious issue because nobody wants that. So, I get it. I really do. So, proceed with caution. But, you know, things like him trying to acquire a gun, if it's true, that's not acceptable. And depending on where that threshold is, him acquiring a gun, you know, talking about getting a gun, that's not a crime. Okay, let's be very clear. But acquiring one, if he should do that as a convicted felon in the United States of America, that would be a crime, and we don't want felons to have you know, handguns or firearms of any kind. So, that's my thoughts on this, and it's uh, something that Nomadic Fanatic has done. You always gotta be careful when things like this gets leaked. Did he create this controversy? Because sometimes he likes to stir the pot to get a little bit of publicity, right? So, it's so easy to fake things. But, um, I, I would say about Nomadic Fanatic, he's not filled with the milk of human kindness. So, don't, don't expect him to be gushingly kind to everybody. <laughs> That's uh, probably a, a good way of putting it. But, it's all part of the drama of YouTube. And, if it's true, shame on you nomadic fanatic or if it's, even if it's partially true shape so that's about it from here folks i'm wishing you all a wonderful day here from the overseas territory of gibraltar over now